I do appreciate you stopping by. And to prove it, I'm going to give you some valuable information. I'm John Zadar. This is On Top and Hot. And this is the weekend of July 27th. Now, in most of the videos I do for you, I bring you a hot penny stock. The problem with that is hot penny stock videos fall to the wayside because the information gets outdated. This information is not going to be outdated, folks. You can use this any time at all to find hot penny stocks. See, I trade penny stocks every single day. These are stocks under five bucks that you can find on any market. And I'm always looking for hot penny stocks during the day that start to run. So it's important that I have a lot of information and get it quickly. Well, to be honest, I don't have time to go through all the news. There's a lot of news out there and it takes time to read the entire news press or worse yet, to go through the filings. I don't have that much time. So usually I find my hot penny stocks looking at the charts. I can look at a lot of charts in a little amount of time. I mean, literally hundreds of charts in about 10 minutes. And I show you on a video I made, think or swim video, how to set up yours like I set up mine. Not only do I show you all the SMAs and how to set up charting, but how to search quick how you can go through lots and lots of charts in very little time looking for a particular pattern that you're looking for. Folks, the more charts you look at, the more you absorb. Looking at charts is actually teaching you something. You're learning stuff by seeing these patterns. Now, this is where I normally do my research. Once I find a hot penny stock, I come over here and I look for information to match my hot chart. And this is great information. It doesn't just cover the OTC stocks, as one would presume with the name OTCmarkets.com website. No, truth of the matter is they cover every single stock on the market. And I mean all of them. Penny stocks, major exchange stocks, ETFs, rights, warrants. I mean, if it's on the market, they cover it. Except options. That's not over here. But all the stuff about the companies is. But it's not up to date, changing constantly. We've got a couple pages over here I like to use, but I've got other places I use as well. Other places that are better. Other places that are now using AI. And that's helping me get a lot more work done in a little amount of time. I'm getting information. Now, folks, I do a lot of due diligence. Digging, 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 looking for that gold to share with you. Well, wouldn't it be nice to have someone else do all the digging for me? Wouldn't it be nice to have someone actually bring me the gold out of all the digging? Well, that's what I want to share with you. Somebody that brings me all the dug up dirt and then someone else that brings me the gold on top of the dirt. So we're not going to do anything here. What I want to show you is where I have the dirt brought to me, already dug up. I'm over here on my email account with Gmail. doesn't matter what account you have. What I wanted to show you is my Google Alert. I picked some keywords. I believe it was company merger, OTC acquisition. I think that's it. You can choose your own keywords for whatever it is you want. Maybe it's special dividend. They're rare, come around every now and then, and they're great. It's normally free money for us. You may want to use that one. Whatever it is that you're using, Google Alerts comes to your email as often as you want, it can be once a week, once a day, or as it happens, it'll just come on over here. And if you don't keep up with them and open them, they stack on top. So you open up one email, it says eight days ago, seven days ago, you know, and it just keeps going, going, going. So you can keep up with the news like this. But here's the tricky part. When you come over here to Google, all right, let's put in uh, company, merger, acquisition that that would be a good one now the first thing i'm going to do is go to news and then i'm going to hit this tool here and i'm going to go to the most current stuff sort by date so the most current piece of news comes to the very top now i'm really not here for the news though i do come here over and over again which is why i set up these alerts i don't have to keep coming over here it's brought to me now, the problem is no matter where you look over here, there is no button anywhere. It used to be down here for alerts. They don't advertise that they have alerts anywhere here. So where is it? Well, believe it or not, it's just google.com forward slash alerts. 
and it brings you to this page and it is outstanding put in what you want up here merger um, company acquisition now you got a button here for options you can choose how often you want to get that as it happens once a day once a week what language best results what email yes that's my email if you want to write me and be nice <laughs> i'll write you back and then you just send it blip and there you go and you can cancel it anytime you want over here they, they have a unsubscribe button right there so you can cancel your alert so this is a way to constantly have news coming in i set these up oh god two or three years ago and i just never turned them off and they just keep bringing me news i got another one for cannabis company mergers that was back then when there was a lot of mergers not a lot of them right now but that's what i'm saying you can look up anything doesn't have to be related to stocks just a topic you want to keep up with you can have that news brought to you so that is others doing the digging for me i don't have to dig they bring the dug up dirt to me i have to sort through it looking for gold the other one i want to share with you is brand new i just discovered this by keeping up with news that is provided to me through my discord group through a bot this bot i don't know it's a robot of some sort and we gave it a criteria for the sort of news we were looking for and it brings it in automatically and i particularly started using it for after hours because it was so quick it would bring up news and instantly you could see that stock start running if it was good news and start falling if it was bad news because it's just so little opposition after market everybody's gone to the bar or going to pick up the kids or you know they're just not there anymore so the people that are still there normally respond to the news in the way it's expected so you get these huge runs so i started watching the news and this bot was giving you a link to the news and it was taking me to all sorts of places i've never seen before love that well this was one of the places that brought me this is called stocktitan.net this is one of the best sites I've got going for me right now. I post a lot of news on Twitter and my Discord group from here because it uses AI and it's only dealing with the news. We don't get any charts over here. We don't get any fundamentals. It's only dealing with the news, but through an AI's perspective. So I'm going to break this down to you. They have two versions of it, the free version and the paid for version. I'm not a paid for member, so I don't know everything you get, but I can share a few of the things I've noticed that you get if you're paid for. But here's the wonderful thing. The free version is outstanding. I can see where money can be made using this every single day. Now I'm going to share the four or five pages that I've been using more and more, but you can figure out other things to do, I'm sure. So the first thing is, is that the gold membership cost $50 a month if you want to get everything that this can do. Rhea, the AI, does have more information. She gives us some graphs, but she can give you details behind the graphs. She has filters. She'll let you use those filters. But as I said, we get enough information that we can make money here. So this is the very first page you'll come to. The basic thing this does is provide you with news in real time. Now, I don't know if it brings in every single piece of news, but it brings in a lot of news, hot news. And that's primarily what this AI is looking for. News that has impact on the price and news that has strong market sentiment. That's what it's primarily bringing in, which is the kind of news we want to look at. So the first thing is live news. You want to see every single piece of news. That's where it starts. The most recent piece is up here at the top. However, they filter this news. Maybe you only want to see certain types of news, like the news from today. Well, that's what this is all up here. Trending news, news that's been getting the most attention, having the most effect on the market right up at the very top every single day. But they also break it down into trending news, AI news. Maybe you just want to follow news on artificial intelligence. That's all you get with this. How about this one? FDA approvals down here they got clinical trials so that's not approvals approvals are always good news those are gold mines and this is bringing it to you instantly along with those clinical trials these are big pops 
We see clinical trials have huge pops and then come back down because there's still years to go for the trial. But the news got people excited. And if you're there in time for those quick pops, you can take that profit. We've got mergers and acquisitions, which is what I look for most of the time. They also offer up earnings, offerings, IPO news, and how about that? Stock splits. Always good to keep up with stock split news if they're putting out a news press about it. So let's take a look at one of these pieces of news to show you what it's all about. You get their little graph over here, the impact it's having on the price and the impact the market sentiment is giving it. Now they have keywords up here. This is all paid for. We can't use any of them. This is graphs are free, but they have information for paid for members. We have three notification options over here. Two of them you have to pay for. One we don't. And I've been using the heck out of this one. This is a bell. This bell right here, you can turn it up and down as high or as low as you want it. And sometimes it really goes crazy. 15 pieces of news come in at once. Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> Sounds like a fire alarm. Other times I'm minding my own business, doing some research somewhere else and totally forgot about this. Ding. It's like, what was that? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. News. I get to run over here and see what the news is instantly. I love that. Let's take a look at one of these pieces of news. Let's get one here that makes a little bit of impact, not financials or anything. Uh, how about this one? FCPT on the New York Stock Exchange. Now, if you click the FCPT link, it'll tell you something about the company and then start breaking down the news for you. You're not getting fundamentals over here, though you will get the market cap, the float. They don't talk about the outstanding shares here, just the float, which is really what I'm always looking for. Insider ownership, that's cool. Institutional ownership, short percentage. So you've got lots of information over here. And then you've got a breakdown on each piece of news. Rather than give you the whole bloody news press, Rhea reads the whole thing for you and then gives you a nutshell version of what you need to know. That's easy peasy. Going back to that piece of news, though, you jump into that piece of news. This one here is for Taco Bell. Again, as I said, she gives you a nutshell version. Over here, you get some of the most recent news. So at a glance, you can see what's going on to keep up with this piece of news. And what I really like are the bullets down here, the positive and negative impact that this news is having. And you get to see little bullets at a glance. You can gather up all that quick information. And if you really want to read the entire news press, it'll be down here. This is a real short one. Some of them are real long. The filings can be real long. And you'll get corresponding information down here that is grabbing up from other places, some facts, uh, frequently asked questions and stuff. So that's the news section. And I love the news section. I keep up with this all through the day. Now, the stock section here, they've only got two pages. I don't know if there's any more for paid for. And honestly, I don't make use of these very much, but they may be of interest to you. This one here is the largest companies by market cap. Now, this would come in handy if maybe you like to play options. I don't know, but it tells you the biggest companies starting from the top going down. You can't change their order. You can see all the trillion dollar companies here. No big surprises who they are. Meta, Amazon, Google, NVIDIA, Microsoft, and Apple, right? And underneath there is Berkshires. We got two of Berkshires, which is Warren Buffett, uh, the billionaire. He's up there right up underneath them. Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing Company, which is working with NVIDIA, they're up there. So you've got all your big companies. I don't pay a whole lot of heed to this, but it's interesting. The other one you may be able to make use of. I don't know how you invest. I know a lot of people that hold stocks that have dividends. You get 10 different companies that give dividends. You're getting 10 checks, maybe monthly, maybe quarterly or biannually or annually but you're getting free money. You get a stream of income. A lot of people just turn that dividend back into shares. So it's like free shares. But I know a friend that has his own strategy with dividend stocks. He gets in and out just for the dividend. 
And this page here gives you the X date, which is the last date that you have to own your shares by, which means you have to give time for the transaction. I do believe we're down to one day. So come back one day. They say the 21st was the last day you had to own your shares. So he would buy them like on the 20th or the 19th. And they say they're going to pay the dividend on the 28th. Well, he would sell his shares two days after. Two days to be safe, he would sell them after, have his money back, and then four or five days later, he'd get free money thrown into his account. That's where your dividend goes. And if you are in that stock, every time they pay a dividend, here it's 10 cents, the stock drops at the bell on that day of the dividend. It drops 10 cents, whatever the dividend is, that's what it drops, because that's where it comes from. And these dividends are for stocks from $53 to $2 and everything in between and above. I see a lot of penny stocks here with dividends. So he would get in before the X date. He would then sell after the X date, qualifying for the dividend, and then collect the dividend. In the meantime, he's found another one and he's put his money into that one. And then he grabs up that dividend and goes to the next one. So he does that. The last page I want to share with you is the page I am excited about, the Momentum Scanner. Folks, this page can make us money. I was following this page hard for three days last week, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. I was looking at it, posting information. I was impressed. It does a great job, folks. This is a Momentum Scanner. I like to think of it as abnormal volume. But it's doing more than just scanning momentum. It's scanning a lot of other factors. But what it's really scanning is movement on the chart. And it gives these, these alerts very quickly. Now, here's the great thing, folks. With the gold membership, there is no delay. It's real timing. And that's what we really want, real time. I've got a couple of other, these momentum scanners, abnormal volume scanners. And they work, but they've got like five-minute delay. And as a day trader, that's too late. <laughs> I mean, seriously, I see news come out at 4.03 and go look at the chart. It's moving at 4.03. It's starting to run. So I want to get into these things early. 15-minute delay just takes it all away. Well, we do have a delay with the free program, but it's only 15 seconds. 15 seconds. I can't light a cigarette or, or, or blow my nose in 15 seconds. So that's great. We can deal with that. So this is an alert page that is going to give you stocks that are moving right now in real time. And it is throwing these alerts out in three seconds, six seconds, 15 seconds. I mean, I was watching. They were coming out quick and I was excited to watch it. Up at the very top, the first thing it's going to tell you are the most active stocks across the market. Whatever the price, this isn't just penny stocks, but I will tell you, most of them are. Most of them are penny stocks, and there are all sorts, all sorts of stocks here. So what you get up here, this will be the number one most active stock. If it's red, it means it's falling. And over here, it tells you how many alerts they've had on it. Well, this serial, ticker C-E-R-O, had 31 alerts. That means it moved 31 times, and it's probably 31 times down. That's a lot of alerts. If it's green, obviously it's moving up. This one was moving up seven. Now, I think one of the things you get with the gold membership is unlimited this. I think I only get a couple hours, but it gives you real time. The bottom one is always the most current one that just happened. So I was watching this on Friday, and one of these came up, and Right behind it, another one, like th this one, for example, OPTT, OPTT, OPTT. Well, let's see. That came out at 6 o'clock in the evening, 6.35, 15 seconds. The next one came out 17 seconds later, and then um, 12 seconds, 12 seconds, 6 seconds, and it's showing you 9.18, 9.83, 9.99. Every time it put on an alert, it fell. Boing, boing, boing. Well, I was watching green ones. I can't, I can't go back that far. I was watching green ones, folks. As soon as a brand new ticker would come up, 
I wouldn't wait for the second one, although it might come up before I even left the page. I would run over to the charts, throw in that ticker, and bloody heck, if it wasn't taken off. You could see all the oscillators that turned up. The volume was kicking up. You could see the orders rolling in because I keep all that open. I want to see the activity. I have my level two open to see how many orders are backing up at what prices. I want to see the sentiment. And this thing is on the money. I would post information about one of the stocks that started the run. And it'll tell you over here if there's a reason. You can see if there's news. Now, you can go take the time to look at the news if you want. But as a day trader, I'm interested in the chart. You know, we have seen stocks that have great news and the stock falls. And we're going, why? Why is it falling? Then we see other stocks that have terrible news. They just announced bankruptcy. They're being thrown down to the OTC and the stock is running. And we're going, what the heck is going on? I don't trust the news. I trust the charts. If you're going to put any time and effort into education, folks, if you're day trading, if you're swing trading, study the charts. The more charts you look at, the more you absorb. Do YouTube videos. Look for certain plays. Three bar play. Uh, learn about oscillators, learn about SMAs, come into the discord, ask questions, read what everybody is saying, listen to what our coaches say. You need to absorb this stuff, folks. You may learn something today, but you don't absorb it for a year. That's okay. That's okay. You're in this for the long haul. Don't lose all your money up front, not knowing what you're doing. Find ways to take chunks of money. And that's what I'm showing you. When you get into one of these stocks that starts running, don't try to find the top. Don't try to get as much as you can, especially like after market. Those babies start running. You can get 60, 70, 80, 100 percent. Don't be shooting for that. Maybe take a goal of 40 percent each day because they have a habit of going to 50, 60, 70. Yeah, maybe you are shortchanging yourself. But if you get stuck in a stock that ran and then fell and then doesn't come up for a long time, you're holding it. You're holding a bag. But if you get used to taking that 40%, that safe percent every day, you're there between 4 o'clock and 4.30 snagging up a piece of one of those stocks that had news after market that started the run. And you got in, you got your 40%, you got out. You got five of those this week. And you ended up with 18 by the end of the month. That adds up, folks. That adds up. Little winnings on top of little winnings on top. of It's the consistency aspect, folks. It's not how much, it's how often. That's the difference. Not how much, how often. And this will give you hot stocks all day long. You can come over here and get a little more information. You can see how big the company is by market cap. You can see the float. Again, it's not telling us the outstanding. It's telling us the float, which is really what we're dealing with. So we've got the float. Look at that. 4.2 million for HUDI. That, that was a hot one. I remember that on Friday. And then you got the volume. Now, I don't know if that's building up and showing you current volume as it is. Probably would make sense. Then finally down here, you get a overall view of the market. The worst and the best in that order. The best of the best is up here at the top gainers and the worst of the worst is up here at top losers and then going down. And this is what all of us are asking. Why is it moving? Why is it moving? Well, that's what Rhea is telling you right here. You can see the hottest stocks. It doesn't matter if they're penny stocks or on the New York Stock Exchange. I don't believe I'm looking for OTC stocks here. Oh, wait a minute. Now I may have found a fault. I don't see one OTC stock down here. Oh, look at that. Okay. So at least I didn't misguide you there, folks. These are all penny stocks and stocks above penny stocks all on the major exchange, which I got to be honest with you, folks. I prefer trading stocks on the major exchange than on the OTC. Yes, there's some great price prices down there and there is a lot of price activity but first of all there's a lot more money and a lot more volume up on the major exchange by a long long shot and there is a lot more rules which is just making it safer for me folks i'm going to be honest i have lost tens of thousands over fifty thousand dollars on pinks pinks primarily I've lost money in options. Everybody does. But, you know, when I look at my QBs or my NASDAQ stocks, nowhere near 
have I ever lost anything like I've lost with pinks. Pinks are dangerous because they're just not a lot of validated information. And we love to believe the news. Don't believe the news. Let the news be your catalyst. Let the news be your market sentiment. But don't let it be an investment piece of advice. It is just hot air. Hot air can get the balloon to rise. That's all we're looking for is hot air. There's nothing wrong with a good pump and dump if you're aware of that. Get in, get out. Get used to taking pieces. So there you go, folks. These are my two places to get lazy man's information. I use my Google Alerts to have the news brought to me on a regular basis. Every single day, I have that news come in. I think I actually have it come in as it happens because I'm a day trader. I don't want to miss an opportunity if a big piece of news comes out. And then I've got this now. This isn't just giving me fresh, hot news. It's telling me if it has impact. It's telling me how fast it's moving, where it's moving, and which stock is moving. And that's what you want to know, right? Which stocks are moving. And you get a whole list of them here. So you don't have to take the most recent one. Maybe the one in the back has got your attention. It's got the super duper low float and it just started moving. So hopefully this information is going to help you like it's been helping me. And hopefully you get excited with this scanner. I really, really had fun with it, folks. Thank you for your time. I hope I made it valuable for you. Remember, folks, the more you know, the more you're going to grow. See ya.